I seen this briefly, and I was like, hell no. Streamer takes homeless woman to a restaurant. He eats, and then he dashes. And leaves a homeless woman there. And I'm like, hell no. Now you guys know my take, that I am for free speech, but... <laughs> when it influences real life... I don't know if it's free speech anymore. I, I don't know if when people are using social media in order to be uh, some, some shit, kind of know if that is covered by free speech. Because we've seen it time and time again, usually on the kids, free speech. You have people going out in the real world and they're causing havoc. Like there was uh, a streamer which asked the homeless lady to jump into the lake. And when the homeless lady jumped into the lake, she said, look, I can't swim. I can only float. I remember that. Uh, yeah. And, and the streamer just ran away, leaving the lady in mortal danger. Yeah, you know, I remember like that. Stuff like that, you should get banned for. I don't think it's free speech. Uh, or that uh, streamer Mizu going IRL and uh, stealing people's dogs, trespassing, uh, people like Johnny Somali. Uh, I, I think it stops being... Stealing people's dogs? I don't remember that one. What the hell? Dude, n you know what it is? They don't face consequences. If the... It, you know, remember like the last time? Clob them! If that shit happened, this stuff would cease very quickly free speech when you actually go out and you become a nuisance to the public uh, because it's about protecting the public like the public doesn't need to to have people doing these quote-unquote pranks to them uh, in order so that the streamer gets super chats one girl filmed herself now, stealing somebody's uh, that, that's that, crazy I, I thought that I've seen everything like I, I thought that's that I've stupid. seen like the worst of the worst uh, but every day people on kick manage to surprise me this guy in particular uh, by the name of dumb dumb G's uh, did something which technically is not against the rules but he managed to be such an asshole that even though he didn't break any rule, he got bad anyway. So he took this homeless lady to a restaurant just to make fun of her. Six. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Um. Fuck. Uh, my car. Uh, I think I left my wallet in my car. Fuck. I'll be right back. All right. Bro. My name's uh, da, ATM Nari Nari Nari. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. I'm just on stream. You're what? I'm just on stream. Six. So I don't know the whole situation. Dude, I swear. I swear, dude. They they gotta they gotta face some consequences for this shit, man. Situation, but. Obviously, this is beyond the pale. That, that it's as Yellow would say, fatherless behavior. The interesting thing is that everyone is blaming the content creator. And obviously, it's the healthy and moral thing to do. But for some reason, the one is blaming the chat. Because these people right here that are uh, typing Lamao and they're giving super chats, these are the ones that are encouraging this type of behavior. Like, chances are this person wouldn't do any of this. If yeah, but I mean, you can cultivate any kind of audience based off of like what you're actually doing so for instance if i love funko pops and i make funko pop videos all day i'm gonna cultivate an audience that likes funko pops me on the other hand i cultivate assholes okay so whenever i look at my chat they're just saying mean things to me it wasn't for the accomplices that are providing moral support uh there's also a lot of TikTok streamers right now in japan that's why i'm here hey Ocean. welcome here daniel the reason they do it is because <laughs> of the audience What's like, up? Like, you have yeah, in some cases, not these, but in other cases, commit criminal activity like Johnny Somali. And the reason they do it is because the people are donating them. The people are funding those activities. Uh, and, and, you know, it's interesting because the people themselves don't care about the content creator either. They just want to see the content creator get into trouble or cause trouble for other people. But they would definitely not like it if their mother was there. Right? Like if some content creator played a prank on their mother. Yeah, but these are probably just a bunch of low IQ doofuses that, that are cheering this shit on. You know, it's it, these are probably the people that run around playing knockout games and shit. They think this shit is funny. It's not. I find it very distasteful. Or on their loved ones. All of a sudden, they wouldn't find it as funny. If you think about this from you. These are the people that, you know, like, um, I don't want to name too many names, but let's just say these are the people that go out there and they see you as nothing more than a product. If, if these are like your sociopathic business type people where they will sacrifice you on that altar of money, so to speak, 
you are nothing than you're nothing more than content to them. They don't see you as a person. And here's the thing, because of the extremes that they're willing to go, it does gain attention and it does gain an audience. And there's a reason why a lot of the big creators that you see out there or even streamers tend to be either assholes or very cold individuals because they're willing to step over your dead body if it means to pick up a dollar on the other side. That's the way that it goes. It just really think about that, you know? So this is just not, you're not a human, you're just content. Yeah, like he actually entered someone's house. He actually trespassed. Like imagine having a content creator break into your living room in order to cause distress. And then it's like, well, it's just a prank, bro. Ha ha ha. Right? <laughs> you, you probably wouldn't give them money to do that if that was the case. So, so a lot of blame should also be placed on the I'm going to toot my own horn here too. This is why I don't go down that route because I see that as being sinful and not loving thy neighbor. You are taking advantage of them. This is why I say whatever I want. And if people want to stay, welcome. If people want to go, get the fuck out. I'm, I'm not here to farm you, so to speak. If you want to support, I really appreciate it. If you don't want to support, hey, you just showing up, I appreciate it. These people see you as like, you must be drained dry. You're nothing more than, you know, a husk. You're just resources. And I'm like, this, I, I, it's a, a terrible way to live. Individuals that are supporting this. She's uh, being and, funny. And normally, I don't yeah. say this, right? But again, this is not about free speech. The only joke is it's not about freedom of expression. It's about it creating funny. public medicines. It's about creating people that go out into the public. What's up, Big M? Other random individuals, which could very well be your family or yourself. So uh, th this is uh, what I think about it. Now, what are we watching? I don't know how to say it in German, dude. And the CEO of uh, Kick wants to give this lady fifty thousand dollars. Woo! Which, you know, is great. Uh, a lot of people say that... He's going to give her $50,000. She's going to blow it on a bunch of stupid shit. But it's worth it. It's going to be life She hit payday. It was worth it. Uh, I hope it is. I guess it depends where the lady lives, right? Like, if you live in California now, if you live in San Francisco, $50,000 isn't that much. I if you really want to help this woman, instead of giving her $50,000, go find her a husband that she can submit to. That'll help her. I don't think you can even buy a one-room flat with it. But she's gonna gamble say, yeah, 50k yeah, at the casinos. Uh, she's so gonna spend 50k on 40k. And, uh, hopefully, you end up not being homeless. This is actually a big problem with uh, individuals who are homeless. Uh, the left doesn't understand it. They think that if you just throw money at them, they stop being homeless. No, 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 no. See, once you manage to buy a house, you still have to pay the utilities. You still have he to is pay Luka, income he's taxes. A you still have to buy food. Uh, so you need to start earning money more than before because otherwise you end up being homeless again. It's not a situation that's uh, so easily fixed. Uh, but some people manage to do it and hopefully this lady is going to be one of them. Uh, Where'd still, the other 10k go? Drugs. Kick, right? Uh, the reason Kick exists is because Twitch has a mental deficiency. Like, like they have mental retardation uh, and they ban people for almost anything. Like they even ban content creators. Hold up. The Jaded Warlock says homeless women tend to be very submissive. Are you speaking from experience? What's going on here? for stuff their own chat is saying, they didn't have to make this rule. They didn't have to make a rule that if you stream someone that's getting banned, then you get banned as well. Uh, and because of that, you have kick. Like if Twitch was just a normal platform that just allows streaming and tried, you know, having normal moderation, like, like you don't have to go overboard, but at the same time, you, you wouldn't allow people to do stuff like this, you wouldn't get kick. And, and it is what it is, right? Like I, I think Twitch is more to blame. Like when you put the goat, like a person that thinks they're a goat and you put them in charge. And I, not, I'm not talking about uh, greatest of all time. No, like, like they think they're a deer. They think they're an animal, right? And you put them in charge of trust and safety. You put them in charge of the moderation. And, and you, you have that person being mad with power, doing the crazy eyes, saying, I got a lot of power and no one can do anything to me. You're going to get kicked. Like, th this is why the platform even exists. And, and to be honest, like, kick is doing the right thing. They're, they're trying to put a stop to these types of streamers. Like, like at the end of the day, if they don't stream on kick, they may stream on Rumble. I see it as, like, when it comes to kick, if you want to be a more open, free speech platform, that's cool. I don't mind that at all. So people can share their controversial opinions, and people can shut you down and debate and yell at each other, whatever. I don't have a problem with that. Saying some crazy, wild shit. Go for it. But when you are creating real-life victims for content i find that to be absolutely unacceptable and that you should ban these people permanently immediately and let people know that this type of content will never be condoned not even in the slightest because you're just creating victims out there and you're live streaming it that's stupid well, they may stream on TikTok. Like they permanently find some place on the internet where they can do their streams 
Um, and what else can you do besides ban them? And in this situation, King didn't have to give $50,000 to this lady, but they did. So I really can't blame the platform. Uh, report him for, like, fraud. Because he also filmed it, too. I don't know. But just, just lay it all on him. Throw the book at him. I don't know why people are so upset about it. It's like... It happened on Twitch as well. Like, there have been people that did socially unacceptable things and they got banned, right? Like, what more can you do? You can't prevent it from happening. You, you can only react to it. And in this case, finding this lady and trying to make it right, batting the streamer who did it, probably sends a message. And there's... Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it, you, you do have to send that message because the shit just gets ridiculous. He needs to be banned. Yes, I think it looks like he was banned.